Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Today, Dr. Chris is back with another design, this time with a projectile made out of magnesium. Dr. Chris, who always thinks outside the box, made these out of magnesium sacrificial anodes. As you can see, they do have a mild steel core running down the entire length of them. That should help uh, bring up the weight a little bit because magnesium on its own is a pretty light metal, lighter in density than even aluminum or aluminium if you speak Old English. Chris sent us two different types this short model, which is actually heavier than the long model because it has a lead filled base. And the longer model shown here is just a solid magnesium anode in its distinct shape. Let the testing begin! We got something a little new for you here today. It's from uh, Dr. Chris. Uh, sent these to Jeff. They're a magnesium slug with a steel core. He machined these out of uh, some sort of an anode for a boat. Uh, anyway, he wants us to shoot them up against something hard and fast and see if they'll spark. So we got the AR500 plate, 3 8 thick, and a uh, set a little can of liquid uh, snow in a can here. See if we can get some fragmentation and some sparks and maybe even get it to light off. But anyway, we're going to run here, what are we, about 20 yards? Yeah. About 20 yards? Yep. And uh, see if it got to see if they're accurate too, you know? Yeah. Well, this is going to be our point of aim. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yep. We got this angled slightly in case we get any ricochets, so everything is going to go off to the to the side here. So. Yep. Never shoot at a plate like that it's perpendicular, you know, so things can come right back at you. No. Uh, there's been another channel that's had that problem a couple times. Yeah. I any they, names, it, they, but... And they, their viewers put kept pushing and pushing. Oh, you got to shoot it straight into the plate, and he, did, he and he finally did that, and he regretted it. You know. Yeah. Well, you don't do that. He didn't burn his fingers that time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Edwin! He wants... We may be doing something again with Edwin. I'm, I've been in contact with him and... Uh, awesome. Uh, we'll try to get that, get that working. I just got to schedule everything out. Hey, we got a bench over here. Maybe we can do us uh, one of his outdoor cooking shows. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm ready. All right, let's see what happens here. I saw a little spark. Okay, I, I even with my own eyeballs, I saw a flash on that one. <laughs> no, uh, very, very little, if any, recoil. Yeah, they are light. It did shatter. We did find one little piece here. Uh, but yeah, in on the high speed, you could see that the it hit the plate and it. It went off to the right like we wanted it to. Oh, no, I thought that was <laughs> And then it just barely missed hitting that can. Should we maybe try it again? Let's try it again. Let's yeah, it maybe that was better. a dud. Take two. I'm ready. All right, here we go. There you go. Okay, at least we had fragments hitting the, the can that time. Big fragment. Big fragment there, a couple little dings, maybe a hole there. Yeah. It looked yeah, it looked like there was multiple holes in it in high speed. Well, we got an accuracy problem. That one felt good when I pulled the trigger, pointing for here. We hit way down here. Oh wow, that's gonna be troublesome. So wonder if there'd be any better through a smooth bore. I don't know. I don't know. We could both, try that. Both of those have been rifled. Okay, yep. We could try it. Mm. Let's try an aluminum plate now. Yeah. See if that makes a difference. Smooth bore, <clears throat> aluminum plate, no spin. Will it be accurate? Okay, I'm ready. Nope. Don't know where that one went. Okay, back to the rifled barrel. Here we go. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. I might have to move this thing up to about 10 yards. And, yeah. But uh, accuracy is, wow. A little it's wonky. La it's lacking in accuracy. These are so light. Yes. I, I think a butterfly fart would knock it off target. <laughs> but yeah, uh, aiming here. Felt good when I pulled the trigger, but it hit low right. Okay. But we found part of it here. Let me zoom out. Okay. Come on, camera. This is the back half. Yep, little markings on there. Front half's gone. Yep. I thought it, it looked like it's it split in half on high speed, but I, I guess I'm wrong again. Oh, it did. The front half is gone. Oh, there you go. I thought, <laughs> so, it, was, uh, I thought it was cleaved down the center. <laughs> okay, but, let's try something else. Uh, lithium polymer battery out of a laptop or something. Tablet, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's charged up, too. Well, maybe we'll get yeah, some The laptop out died, but the battery didn't. <laughs> so we got, we're going to clamp it up against a brick. Maybe we'll get some kind of reaction finally, huh? Yeah, we've moved up to about 10 yards here. We've been having trouble with, accu with accuracy. and. Yep. We had high hopes for accuracy, but hopefully we we're a little too optimistic. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can set something to fl a flame there. Keep your fingers crossed. Yep. Hey, that was accurate. Okay, now that was the other type with the lead base, the shorter one. Those seem to be, he's onto something there. That was actually pretty darn accurate. That was point aim. Yeah, I like Look that. at that damage. It, uh... Wow. I, I'm, I'm sure that thing was charged up too. I did. I just. I thought we'd see a bunch of sparks and stuff, though. I saw a little bit, but sure, it's lithium. It says it on there. It's lithium polymer. Taste it. Does it taste like lithium? Yeah, but I don't taste any polymer. <laughs> Does it taste like asbestos? No, not as best as I can tell. <laughs> this one is another one of the shorty ones with the lead in the base. There's only three of those to experiment with. Okay, let's see how if the accuracy con continues here. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, that wasn't as terrible as some of them we shot, but <laughs> point of aim, point of impact. It, kind of an interesting little crater there. It, you can actually see the sh exact shape of the slug in there. It's like a, uh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> An inverted one of them things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's using one of the long ones again. We're trying yes. to... Yes. We're getting things out of order a little bit, but hey. <laughs> trying to find what works. Gotta, gotta give people something to complain about. Okay, shooting an AR-500 plate with the spall protection still on there. Aiming at the center of the plate, so anytime you're ready. Well, that one actually hit right on the center, it looked like. That one actually did better. I think we're getting better luck now. You're, you're finally, you're finally uh, pulling the trigger right or something. <laughs> So what happened there? And you found that one. Somehow Danny found that thing after it bounced off at a real low velocity. And kinda, it was like kinda, 20 feet to the rolled right. Down, rolled down the road down there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, here, point of aim, point of impact. And there are some pieces of this. Set that right there. See if we can get anything out of there with a lot of trouble, without a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, what kind no, of knife are you using today? Everyone wants to know what kind of knife you're using. Wow, okay, maybe it moved. Nope, it stuck pretty good. Wow, okay. We're not gonna peel this off because we can use it again. Yeah. SOG. Okay, Study, there you go. Studies and Observations Group. Is that what it means? Look it up. Okay, <laughs> what else did you find when you were looking down there too? Look at that. That's uh, the one that hit the lead plate, I we hit believe. The lead plate. Yeah. Laying there intact, that could be reloaded. Yeah. As long as it didn't swell it out too much. Yeah, you can see the markings on the back. But sometimes people, we put markings on the back of things 
and so we can tell if it's rotating or not. You yeah. have, have good engagement with the rifling. Now you see the difference now. We've been shooting two different ones. Yeah, I, I, if they're different loads, I'll paint them up a little differently. Look at the base. This one just has a steel core through it. Yep. This one he shortened up and he put a little bit of lead in the base. Yeah. So they weigh about the same. Yeah. And it started out like this one? Yes. Yes. So there you go. That's must use a real soft uh, steel or if that is steel. But uh, very interesting. Okay, I'm getting excited now. Well, and that's, and that's that takes a lot these days. <laughs> <laughs> Got some alien brain mold. <clears throat> you can still see where that 44 hit, I think. Or is that the thir 357? Mm. 357, 44, whatever gets the job done. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you see the, I think that's from uh, Mr. Mom. See the spinal nerve run up through there? <laughs> yeah. So just for just because we have this with us. Just for S and G's? That's right. We're gonna see. But one of the little shorty ones, which are a little more accurate, does to this ballistic gel head. I've been wanting, I'm dying to shoot this thing. Let's see if we can give him a frontal lobotomy. There you go. Yay, it didn't fall in the dirt. I was aiming for... Oh! Yeah, I was aiming for the bridge of his nose. <clears throat> kind of caught him right in the... Sinus cavity up here below, below the eye. Yeah. If he had eyes. <laughs> but it did pass all the way through. And we think we got a fragment in there. Right in there. You'll have to believe us because it's very hard to see. Exit right here. Okay. Look, at, I, I was so sloppy in casting that, but I was in a rush too. Uh, he's got brain cancer. Yeah. There's it, like a piece it, of wad in there. and Oh man, Kev, what's wrong with you? Alien brain cancer. Okay, that was one of the heavy short ones. Yes. And we're gonna hit it with one of the light long ones. Yeah, let's do it again. Same point of aim, just to for comparison. Okay. The longer one. Okay, I'm ready. There we go. Oh, that one landed in the dirt. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The gel head was a little too dirty, as you can see, to show off what happened. Thank you for watching, rating the video, and we'll see you next time.